So we've got ourselves Cap de Villa, 96 rated, and his first ever upgrade, which is just incredible to see. He's gone from an 86 to a 96 all in one swoop. Now he is extinct at the moment at 950,000. I'd imagine he will drop down before the end of the week. And he has got the ability to go up one rating and then get an extra play style or 99 face stat. So all he has to have is Spain to score two and four goals to get both of these upgrades in the Euros. Now, I could see Spain doing that, to be honest. I don't see that not happening. So more than likely, we'll be looking at a 97 Cap de Villa with potentially a four play style plus or a 99 face. I don't know if they have got already a predetermined and it'll kind of just be random or there's a reason why it's either or. I, I don't know how they'd actually give it to be honest now he does have quick step relentless and whipped pass looks a very very good left back good pace good dribbling good passing good defending and great physicality so he is going to be in the standards of the better left backs that we've seen so let's jump straight into him i'm interested to see what this card can do like i said he's had a big glow up since then and to be honest it has been long awaited oh just a cheeky free win i'll take it all right then, let's give him a go then. I'm very interested to see what he's like in... Co okay, that was poor. That was very poor. That's still very poor. I'm not going to blame Cap de Vier on that, to be honest. But I do want to know what he's going to be compared to. like Because now, especially in terms of fullbacks, we're not going to go that way this time. We're looking at the difference between like a, a Teo, a obvious Sakina... The very fullback left backs, which is going to be, let's say fullback, very wing back left back. So it's going to be very interested to see how he kind of steps up to that mark. Why is. Okay, I think I am broken. But he, have, he has looked like a very good card in himself. Oh, I was kind of hoping for the Harlem ball there, but to be fair, he might have actually just been offside. We're going to fix it into him. Couple of step overs. Try the inside. He has got the quick step, which is going to be nice. Whip a ball over. Should have the passing down to a T as well. And it will be interesting to see what sort of prices these cards are going to be coming in at. Because obviously, at, well, I say at, the, at this moment in time, for, for the whole month, they are going to be live cards. So it's not as if they are going to be dropping down dramatically. I can see a lot of them, especially the Path to Glories, staying at a, a decent price. And even though we do have the team of the seasons... They're going to be potential 99 cards. That is a phenomenal ball. Akadi has got to do better. But the fact that a lot of these cards in the in the Path to Glories and the Cobb to America Path to Glories can potentially hit 99. Obviously, it will matter on who's in the final, but a lot of them will be hitting 96, 97, 98. And even with Cap de Vier and the, the bunch of heroes and icons, there's a lot of 97, 98 cards coming into the game to then get into Shapeshifter, into footage. This is kind of the fun part of the game where cards just get a crazy rating upgrade. Big header, need the win, need the win. Good header. I don't, I don't know, actually, if he won that, to be fair, but he, he gets the ball. That's all that matters for me. Oh, that was, a, an, that was an ambitious ball if I've ever seen it. Pushing him up a little bit, looking for the overlap. Finds a good amount of space. Couple of, oh, I was going to say, couple of step overs. Looking for the whip across the box. It's a great header from Pulisic. But also, another factor that, that I must admit may not affect the absolute top of the top, but it definitely will affect like the Adams, the the kind of the Lukaku side of, side of uh, cards. Is we've got this Euro and cop, uh, Copper, I think, attackers. That's a very good upgrade. It makes them 95. Granted, they can't go up anymore, but. That's going to be the same for defenders. It's going to be the same for midfielders. And it will depend on who they actually choose. But most definitely, it will have a impact on some cards. Especially if they choose uh, like the next best thing. Left back, right back, center back. There's going to be a big factor. Get that ball across. Great ball. Can we just dink one in? Virgil with a big old header. It's going to cut that lane. So, oh, it's a great, it's a great challenge. He just steps on the inside, which was nice, and it's a good challenge from our lovely Lucas Hernandez. And Beasley is away. Another, um, another hero from the Copa America side. He's gonna try and find something. He's not gonna get anywhere. Gonna look at a 
big back heel and then just a run straight into Ramirez. Beautiful. Looking for the challenge. Rashford's, I was going to say, Rashford's not getting through. Apparently he is, but we do win it back. Nice and safe. Cap de Vier, oh, I was very, very eager on that one. Does enough though. Going for the throwback, looking for the one, two. Going for quick step, finds him back with the reverse. Does well to get up the wing. Looking for the reverse if we can. Holland's going to eventually force him way in. Or oh, can we get a little one? Little touch, little finish. That is a save. Saar doing, Jose doing really, really well on that one. Big challenge. Love a good slide. Now, another factor that we've got to think of with these cards is what play style plus would we like? What play style plus? What 99 stats? If if that was the case, what what's what's really going to... Oh, he's, of course he's going to go across goal. What would be the best one? Because we've got quick step, we've got whipped pass, we've got relentless. I'd happily take a jockey. I think jockey would be one. Um, that is almost fantastic. I'd take the anticipate. That, again, wouldn't be terrible. Good save. If I was to go for a 99 stat, I don't... Oh, to be fair, like, he's got 96 on his defendants, so he's already absolutely top on that. I'm not too fussed at the upgrade. Then you've got the pace at 93. That's pretty decent. Like, other than maybe having, like, the 99 pass, that's a solid ball. I would maybe like the four-play star plus, if possible, because I think that would be the better option. For a striker, it would be nice to have, like, a, the 99 finish here, the 99 dribbling if he's not quite got it. Whereas a fullback, he's already got pretty high stats across the board, so I don't really need anything else. And let's be real... The, the play style pluses are where it's going to be now because the stats of like a 96, 97 card are always going to be fantastic anyway. So he'll have an upgrade on top of it as well. It's not as if these are the only stats he'll have. He'll have a plus one that will already be there. That's great work from Beasley. Get the touch, get the finish. Beautiful. So already I'm like, four play style plus, please. Everybody with a four play style plus, that will be the perfect send off for him. I think that that would be the kind of next level thing. And to be honest, whether we get a footage version will be the interesting part now because obviously that was poor because obviously now we've got all of the other uh, heroes and uh, icons that haven't had a euro card or a copper card it will be interesting to see who we actually get at footage because captive has had one card and i think that's all he's getting big header down he's got two men to deal with here lovely bit of dribbling well i mean i say lovely bit of dribbling it's very static at times i must admit but it works it gets rid of him Look for that big left foot. You know what? I thought, I thought we was going to absolutely rocket it. Can we Can we dispossess Virgil van Dijk there? He's going to go back to the keeper and he nearly gives it me. Lovely bit of dribbling. He doesn't know where he wants to go here. Cap de Villa looking through. Get the touch. Haaland's there. Little one. Into another one. Into a header. And Akadi with the aerial plus. Big header away. Nice. Even gets almost a bit of whiplash by the looks of it there. Great challenge from him again. So going into the overall form then. 96 rated. We're still looking at extinction, I believe. Ooh, 890. So he's actually on the market for once. So be interested to see if that's just like a, a one-off and he's just gone on and then straight off. But even so, I think it's not the worst pricing in the world. Like, I mean, he's definitely going to go down. But when you think of a lot of these cards, especially ones in major nations, they're bound to get two goals. Like, it will take, and to be honest, I mean, they're definitely a chance where they can't, or not they can't, but they won't. But it's a bigger chance that they'll at least score two. To get that 97, it's a very, very, it's a solid chance that they score the two. So I think that's kind of what you've got to look at, the fact that they will go up. And, and I think most of them will. Like, if we look at the heroes, uh, that that's not the heroes. If we look at the heroes, we've obviously got Di Natale for Italy. I feel like they should do. You have Forlan for Uruguay. Again, I think they should. Spain and even America. I think two goals are definitely there. Maybe the four might actually be difficult if they're in a group where they're not going to be second. That could be a little bit more difficult. And there's most definitely going to be different path to glories a little like that. But I think with all of the heroes, 
they should be up there to be honest when it comes to the icon side of stuff i think we've obviously got scotland should get the two uh, croatia definitely should get the two whether hadge's team gets it it will be very interesting but again it could be two upgrade who, who knows serbia it's, it, there's a chance denmark they should then obviously look at germany definitely brazil definitely and czech republic to be fair that they, they it depends on who who turns up for them personally that that could be a, a very much a a, a what a chance a chance where you're like okay there's a solid chance they could not as well whereas i think most of the others there's a better chance that they'll definitely get goals so in terms of cap de Vera as other left backs it's going to be an interesting debate because there is so many options out there now from Teo, Sakina, then going down to Grimaldo. You've got Cancelo who can play left back. You go further down with the many Alfonso versions, Havertz's obvious evolution. You then have Charles, you have Backer. There's so many shouts out there that it's unbelievable. And I think Captain Villa puts himself in, in the top category, definitely. The fact that Teo is only a million coins now, which is just nuts because he was so expensive to start with. He is technically the second most expensive left back you can get. Oh no, in fact, less than that, more than that. Obviously, I forgot about Furlan Mendy and Davies, to be fair to him. Maldini don't count. Kai Havertz was an SBC, so he's the fourth technical left back who's the most expensive so he puts himself right in that category and i think he's brilliant for it now i do think he's kind of more based towards a left back but you definitely can get a left wing back out of him as well like i said in terms of the upgrade i think a four play star plus would definitely suit him a lot more the anchor is going to make him controlled lengthy as well 99 defending 96 physical and 97 on that beautiful pace so you don't need any more upgrade like 99 dribbling would be nice but it's going to be a gimmick i'd rather get the quadruple play style plus for him if they do manage to score the four goals so let me know down below what you think about him have you managed to get him what are your thoughts and i'll catch you for the next one